What's going on guys? We are on the Feed the Beast server and today we are going to be working on the tank and I moved the tank a bit, same size but just to a different room. Everything else is the same about it and I'm going to be filling it up with lava instead of seed oil and I know seed oil you can get from pumpkins. I know someone recommended that I do that but um, I just think lava will be a lot nicer because I have plans for that by uh, making it into tin, electrum, and copper industrial centrifuges and I'm just gonna use liquid tesseract and uh, connect it to liquid ox and pumps to pull the lava out of the nether and I'm just trying to find a lava lake right now uh, I'm probably actually gonna cut because I've been looking around for a bit and I haven't found one but I'm ooh yeah I believe this is the one that I was at earlier I just need to make a little base I don't know if I have any building blocks on me that I can really use I mean, I have obsidian, but that's not one that I really want to use. Uh, where can I make this? I guess I can make it down here. But, uh, yeah, we're going to use a liquid tesseract. I have one already hooked up back at the at the house uh, next to the valve on the top of the tank. And it's number 850. And I just came up with that because that's around how many subs I have right now. Yeah, be fond memory, I can't use that actually, so I'm just going to use this. Um, I have two pumps that I can use. So I'm going to use this and obsidian because I'm not going to have enough of this. I guess we can have one pump, pump from... I don't really know if it matters where the pumps are positioned. And I hope it doesn't because they're not far out at all in the middle of the lake. Like, they're not out there. We're just going to pump from right here. And I hope it works. Oh, you know what? These seem to be spread out a little bit more. Okay, well, here comes the obsidian. <laughs> it's going to look so bad. Actually, I can just get rid of this layer right here. Whoa, lags. Is it better? Yeah, it's better now. Okay. I need to make it a little bit wider because I need room for the redstone engines. So, I'm gonna fill that up. Oh no, I'm gonna waste a stone brick. It's gonna fall in lava. Darn. I actually thought that popped back out. Okay, whatever. So, we have the pumps, and we're gonna hook those up. I need to place it on something. Pump. Oh crap, I didn't bring a wrench. God damn. So now I gotta make sure these redstone engines don't get like screwed up. Um, hmm. So we're gonna go redstone, redstone, redstone. And then I wanna have one here, but if I place it, it's gonna turn. Oh wow, actually worked out better than I thought it would. What am I doing? I don't need that. We go like this. And this. Okay. Hopefully a guest doesn't shoot me. Because I have no cover at all. So you're the liquid ducks. I don't know what are special about these. But I think they look pretty cool and they attach to stuff. And they got they got the lava in them now. What? The, what? Why did that not want to connect? Was it just like glitching out really hard? Okay, there we go. That one is not pumping lava yet. Whatever. So, are these too close? Did I build them too close? I don't know. Um, whatever, there and there. Okay. Why does that pump not want to pump lava out? Is it like not working? Because this other pump's working. Whatever, this needs to be set to 850. Check. Send only. I think I set the other one to receive only. I hope I set the other one to receive only. Um, I don't know why this pump doesn't want to work though. These, these aren't warmed up either. Like that pump's just trippy. Okay, please. Please, 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 please. You know what, I'm gonna actually build a block under this. 
I don't care what happens to that. Okay, apparently. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Build a block there, too. I want to make sure that this pump doesn't. When I break, it doesn't go into lava. Okay. So now we can break that. And hope that the pump will work. No. Okay. The tube is getting extended. Please start taking lava in. I'll make like some opening down there. Um, these can start getting warmed up. Yes. It's working. Oh, I gotta use a piece of obsidian. Oh, it looks so bad. The redstone engine. Okay, I'm gonna sit here for a minute and make sure these are both working while I put down my chunk loader load all them chunks okay so that one we know is working show lasers please oh man all those chunks hide lasers okay yeah they're both working they're both working all perfect so I'm gonna make my way back to the base and I'll be right back okay so we're back and uh, apparently we have dirt stairs now <laughs> because Greg said he only wanted dirt stairs but yeah this thing's filling up I guess I can show you guys what's going on up here um, do I have any blocks to build up with? yes I do I guess I don't even need any but yeah we got this as receive only frequency 850 owner only I should probably make the one in the nether that too but whatever um, people don't screw with it and I hope that is big enough that pipe uh, don't see any lava going through it right now but whatever um, maybe they should have to get warmed up and let's just slap a chunk loader up in this bitch boom let's load three chunks so we can keep the base loaded um, I mean I guess it has to kind of be working because there's there's stuff in there. I'm just curious if it's working without me being in the nether if the chunk loader and whatnot are working and man I really should have waypointed that in the nether. Oh I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm so bad. Please just like show me you're working. Oh I guess it needed public access to work. Wow, what a troll. I wonder how much of a continuous stream it'll be, if it will be one. No, apparently it won't. It won't be one. Maybe it'll be close, I don't know. Maybe I'll put more pumps in, maybe the pumps... The redstone engines probably just need to get warmed up, honestly. They do not have an axe with me. Fuck that. Okay, so the next plan, which I may have to work on a little bit, is uh, I'm going to hook up... I'm going to make another room, and I may leave this for next episode and just have a kind of a short episode for you guys today showing you how to do that. That is so easy. Uh, I can also show you what you need to make this stuff right now. By the way, that's the old room in there. But, pretty much, all you need, the chunk loader and stuff is like an enchanting table for a chunk loader surrounded by gold and then ender pearl on top. That stuff's really easy. The, the liquidux, I'll show you the chunk loader picture right now. Really easy stuff. Then I'll show you the Terrasact are, they're not hard, whoa, okay, there's a lot of stuff there. I don't think that much would come up if I type that in. It's Tesseract, I'm a dumbass, whatever. So you first need a Tesseract frame, which is easy. It just takes, wow, was that a skeleton? Frank, it was Frank. <laughs> um... Okay, so for the Tesseract frame, all you need is four pieces of tin, diamond, and hardened glass. Now, hardened glass is made in an induction smelter using pulverized obsidian, which you can get in a pulverizer, and lead ingots, which come from lead ore. And then once you have the Tesseract frame, you need to make it into an unattuned Tesseract, and this will be used to make an item liquid or energy. In this case, we're making a liquid. 
which requires you to use molten ender and to get molten ender you need a magma crucible so you'll put like ender pearls in there and it'll literally, it'll literally make molten ender which will then go into that and the way I have it set up and configured and you can use this configuration if you really want to if you set it up with the magma crucible on the left and the liquid transposer on the right I'll show you two configurations you can pause this the red is really random I don't really know why I have that um, but I also don't believe I need this blue uh, but then it'll go into this which is kinda like a liquid storage and you'll put the uh, the frames like in there where the ender pearls are and it'll fill them up to make an unattuned tesseract and then the liquid tesseract is easy you just need two silver one copper two tin and a mnemonic servo which I've never used before actually and that's really easy too so it's really easy to make these liquid tesseracts or tesseracts I keep calling them tesseracts whatever so once you make those uh, the, that's really the only difficult part I mean the pumps obviously are really easy it just uses a mining well and that it's it just takes up a little bit of iron to make those and then you will use a tank to make the pump or yeah I, I don't know what those are really called the red ones that you stack on top of each other I believe are tanks too yeah they're tanks so you'll use that to make the pump mining well and a tank put together in a crafting table to make a pump and then the l liquid liquiduct uses hardened glass which once again is a lead and pulverized or obsidian dust I believe you get from a pulverizer now obsidian dust and lead and induction smelter and copper ingots make four and I don't know what's special about these but I believe it just prevents you from having to use a uh, cactus green and yeah, you can see this is filling up pretty fast. That is 72.6 buckets of lava. And we're going to be using this lava. Thank you, Frank. But we're going to be using this lava to not to get power because we already have that uh, from solar panels. We're going to be using it to get tin and copper and electrum and tungsten dust, which is if you take 16 buckets, and this will hold if you didn't already know, uh, it holds 6,272 buckets at max because 1,000 of these units is one bucket. Take 16 buckets in an industrial centrifuge, 50,000 EU and 500 seconds for uh, 16 of these, and it will make you, I believe, 4 tin, 2 copper, 1 electrum, and where is it coming from? Uh, up top. But and then uh, one tiny piece of tungsten, something around those lines. So it's not too crazy for 16 buckets. But if you take this whole thing, um, I believe a full tank. Oh, someone's eating my ear. I'm actually going to check on my phone right now how much a full tank will get you. The iPhone app for a calculator. So we'll do 6,272 divided by 16. It will get you 392 of those recipes. So that is quite a lot, especially if this thing is filling up. And it's going pretty consistent with uh, the lava. And I might be having an issue, like up here, I don't know if this is an issue, but like that pipe isn't long at all. I'm not sure if that would be an issue because it can't hold much in it. But... Uh, you know what? I that actually kind of is concerning me. So I'm gonna try and fix that right now before I end the episode. I guess Frank's kind of helping me. Wow, this does not want to fucking break. He's got an enchantment on that. Guess I can just kind of talk about this. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying me recording a little bit more. I just have a lot of free time in my hands right now, so recording really isn't a problem. And it's uh, it's actually fun. I'm getting really into this stuff by just kind of. But uh. 
I'm getting into this stuff by just kind of like messing around with it, seeing some things that my friends are making. Wow, drills don't work. Wow. Okay, then. Guess we can leave it. I guess that works. Throw down some torches. Torch it up. Torch a torch. Need a crescent hammer. Wow. How do you make that? Crescent hammer. What the fuck, man? Silver and two iron. I guess I can make that. There's the silver. No, I believe it was... Iron, 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 silver. Yes, nice. Resembles nothing of a hammer, but whatever. Block lag. Yeah, I'm getting some sound lag too, I think. Oh no. Oh, so bro. Okay. So let's say you break those, I guess, but I'm going to try putting it like there. Frequency 850. Check. Receive only. Boom. Now we're going to put these on here. Son of a bitch. Crescent hammer. Work. <gasps> Crescent hammer works for that too. Good God. Maybe this will be better now. Because like. There's more room for it to store lava. Like keep lava coming into it. I don't know. Wow, that looks a little bit messed up right there. Whatever, staying connected. Okay, guys, so I guess this is really just how I have this set up, and it's it's going good. It's going very good, and also someone asked me last episode, or said last episode, that you need a valve on the bottom so that when you break something, all this stuff doesn't go away. So if you do need that, I have one, and that noise is really annoying, but... I put one on the bottom in the center, so hopefully that works and that's true, just so you guys don't lose all your stuff. And, uh, yeah. Wow, my god, what is he doing? He is destroying my ceiling and getting a lot of XP while he's at it. <laughs> oh, my god. That's horrible. But yeah, next episode, you guys can look forward to me hooking up induction not induction, industrial um, centrifuges to this and we'll get that working and make a good old copper electrum tin plant going on here so I'll see you guys tomorrow.